Hi guys, I'm back. It's Vivian the Psalm Next Door. Today we're gonna cover Canada, specifically Ontario. I actually came back from Toronto not too long ago, and unfortunately I wasn't able to do some wine tasting, but I did pick up some wines and I went to review them and kind of go over the region for you guys. I also went to the Finger Lakes, so comment down below if you want me to go through the wines that I got from the Finger Lakes. Again, if you like this content, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and let us get started. I went to Toronto, it's just, just for fun. It was gorgeous. It was just so nice, very cool, sunny. I don't know spoilers, sorry. Gotta watch the vlog. Okay, let's learn a little bit about Canada. So a fairly new region. I mean, they've been producing wines just as long as the US, so like a few hundred years, but for the most part, uh, they're still kind of not as well known. Most of the wines are produced in two regions, Ontario and British Columbia. Up and coming is Nova Scotia. They actually produce very good sparkling wine, so keep an eye out for Benjamin Bridges. I had a pet gnat from them and it was canned. But it was delicious. It was really, really tasty. Most of the wine regions are on the southern half of the country because it's just cold in Canada. You know, normally it is very, very cold for most of the year, which is why one of their most famous wines is ice wine, where the grapes literally freeze on the vines and they turn that into a sweet wine. Now, I, uh, I've had ice wine, not can I think actually, no, I think I've had Canadian ice wine. I was like in Quebec and we were tasting. So, you know, I wanted a new experience. I kind of went with different wines and ice wines. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know you guys produce very, very good ice wines. Since it's a cooler region, they do very well with white wines. So Rieslings, which is my first wine, we'll talk about that later. Chardonnay, Gewürztraminer, Sauvignon Blanc, they're crisp, like, you know, that cool weather really brings out the city in those white varietals. Now for red, with climate change, actually, it's getting better and better, but think of cool climate, red grapes like Pinot Noir, some Bordeaux varieties actually, so Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc. So you will see those type of varieties in this region. I actually drank most of this already, so I saved a little bit. So 50% of Canadian wines are actually produced in Ontario. So both of my wines are from the Niagara Peninsula. If you go right by Niagara Falls, which I did for like a hot second, I got my Tim Hortons, which funny enough, I used to work for a company that owned Tim Hortons. That's where like, and you drive like maybe like 10, 20 minutes out, that's where a lot of the wineries are in the Canadian side and also on the US side. Along there are plenty of wineries. For Ontario and mostly British Columbia wines, they have a VQA certification on the bottle and that stands for Venture Quality Alliance. So when you see that, you're like, okay, this wine has been checked. It meets certain standards. I had to try a Riesling. I really did. And so I got a 30 Bench Winemakers Blend Riesling. This is from Beamsville Bench, which is a sub-region within Niagara Peninsula. So that's also a VQA. VQA is also kind of like AVA in the US system, just a delimited area. Ontario Rieslings are actually very, very good. Can you tell that it's not German? Probably, but it has that nice petrol, honey smell. It's, it does a really good job for a much lesser price point than the German Rieslings. Hmm like honey, lemon peel, but that petrol smell is your key indicator for Rieslings. It's like ding, 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 this is a Riesling. 
And this is just great to drink by itself. It's great to pair with foods. So many different fruits you can pair with because that acidity and that slight sweetness. But yeah, the, this Riesling is like such pure flavors in here. It's clean and it's just really beautiful. I really highly recommend this Riesling if you ever go to Ontario, 30 Bench, a great, great producer. So my second wine, I got a Cabernet Franc from Cave Springs. This is also from Niagara Peninsula and the VQA again is Beamsville Bench. Apparently they also make very good Cabernet Sauvignon, but that, that is age worthy, they say. I'm a little bit hesitant on that. No offense, I just, I think it's a little bit too cool for a Cabernet Sauvignon in my personal opinion. So I didn't really want to take that risk. There's some oak in here. Do everyone get the like pyrazines? So that's like very bell peppery, a little spicy, red cherries, plum. Okay, now I'm definitely getting more of that oak now that I am swirling it and releasing those aromas. Great acid, a little bit of spice. The tannins are a little fleeting, but they're there. The finish kind of goes off. It's on the fresher side. It would get kind of overwhelmed if you ate very, like, you know, very fatty, very saucy foods. I think this would probably get lost a little bit. The tannins are a little meek, but but there's still good structure with the acidity, but it's kind of at the forefront and then the finish is a little bit less. I would say if, I, to be honest, and you know, I need to try more Canadian wines, but from the area, just because it's a little cooler region, I think I would stick more to the white wines in the area. This has the body of a Pinot Noir, but it's like a Bordeaux grape. So I know it has like potential to be more, more deeper, but you know, it just didn't get that sun. It just didn't get that ripening time. But yeah, these are the two wines that I got. I think the Riesling is really, really good. The quality is very good. My Cabernet Franc is, is okay. I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's okay. This could be like paired similar to a Pinot Noir in my, in my humble opinion, like a cool climate Pinot Noir. So that was Canada. I mean, well, not all of Canada, but Ontario. Again, please let me know in the comments if you want me to go through like if my Finger Lakes wines, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and cheers you guys. I will catch you guys later. <laughs>